mistakenly given to a father out of Philadelphia daycare. And no, this was not a baby. You know how they say all babies look alike. This was a girl, about four years old. Let's get right to Seanette Wilson, live in Mantua. I am waiting to hear how this mix-up happened, Seanette. Uh, Thomas, I'll tell you what, it is crazy. But you know what? The big question here many people will probably ask is, how does a parent not know his child? Well, this particular father had not seen his child since she was born, so he says he trusted that the daycare here inside the West Philadelphia Community Center would have handed over the right kid. Jerry Lawson never imagined his first time seeing his daughter in four years would turn out like this. He just recently got out of prison and asked his daughter's mom if he could pick her up from school. Jerry says he got there. The child's mother, Tanya Corbett, was on the phone giving the school permission to let the four-year-old go with him. Things were going well until Jerry was riding along and noticed the child looked scared. It wasn't until he took her to see friends that he says the little girl he thought was his but wasn't spoke up. I was saying to my friend on the phone, uh, Josiah, sitting right here, and she said, my name not Josiah, I'm Zaya. And I was like, something wrong. And then he said when um, he came to pick the baby up, she looked as scared. And he said that, and they had a note in there stating that the baby looked as scared. And they still let the baby go. All right, and back here live, here is another interesting twist here. Uh, according to police, the family of the child that was wrongly handed over has the same last name as Tanya and Jerry's daughter. So another uh, mix-up there. That family did not want to talk. The school here also declined to comment at this time. Right now, both families are at special victims. Reporting live in Mantua, I'm Seanette Wilson, Fox 29 News. It's got to be